Headline on CNBC.com this Monday morning. Hold on to your hats. The Aussie rally may just have started. Well, Saxo's John Hardy sold the Aussie this morning. Why? I was uh, rather interested in the market's reaction to the Friday jobs report. We saw um, it seemed the market wanted to take it as a rather negative report, but I thought, I thought some of the data was, was quite strong in that report with the household survey, the drop in the unemployment rate despite the participation rate uh, rising. Um, but we saw the commodity currencies attempting to rally and then really failing as well, the Canadian dollar with its uh, the strong Canadian jobs report. So, so simply the, the news flow versus the reaction is, is one of the reasons. And the Aussie dollar has been in, a, in quite a bear market. So uh, um, it just seemed like an interesting level ahead of this 90 level. In fact, John's not too positive about the longer term outlook for the Aussie. To me, the only uh, thing you could base an Aussie rally on would be uh, possibly some near-term positioning. Let's say we get a bit of a rally in metals uh, prices or something like that, and, and the market may be sec second-guessing itself on the strength of the, uh, uh, of the forward guidance of the RBA. Sure, we could see a bit of a backup. There are some positioning elements, et cetera, that they could see that. But I, I think structurally we're still in, certainly in an Aussie uh, bear market for at least the rest of, uh, of this year. Something to remember this week, Janet Yellen is addressing Congress for the first time as Fed Chair. When the Fed uh, Chairman is out speaking, especially when it's the brand new start of a, of a new Fed Chairmanship, first major appearance, this is a marquee market event. We can't uh, underestimate what, what this could bring. I really don't expect anything in terms of new rhetorical twists, any sort of surprise to market expectations. But it's always important when the Fed Chairman is out speaking for the dollar, for market confidence broadly. And, and market confidence broadly is a very important topic lately because we did see a very nervous start to the year. We've seen a considerable bounce. How is the market feeling in terms of its confidence, in terms of risk sentiment, uh, as this uh, key, the number one key uh, person that can move markets is out uh, speaking this week?